First of all, Father, forgive me for I'm going to sin. Yeah, so let me talk about this number one asshole. He's actually a number two asshole because he shits out his mouth just as much as he does his ass. You know, the guy's all right. He laughs and jokes and he talks a lot of shit and he's only trying to get you riled up. Once you get riled up and you're piping and you're piping and you blow him down on a video, then he'll come back, you know, he'll smile and grin and he'll talk his shit like, hey, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's okay, fucking fat guy. It's all right, man. We're just doing our thing up here, you know, on the mud sticks, you know. It's okay, you fuck, you know. And he'll just do all this shit, and he'll he'll want to line of you to fucking death, and then you're like, and you'll forget about it. Um, he's battling it out with these uh, partners right now. So let him do his thing, man. Don't let the number one asshole, the web lone stranger, get to you. Because the guy does it. That's how he does it. That's his end. He'll try to say something to sting you and make you riled up. He's probably hired by YouTube. You never know with these things. But other than that, I've seen a handful of his videos. And he has an angle. His angle is to be a dick. And like any actor, he's going to play that role. He'll never show you a nice guy. He'll never be nice and respectful because he started something as an ass. Since he started as an asshole, he's going to finish as an asshole. And hey, that's how comedians and actors are. They follow their plot, their storyline, and their script. The guy is practicing and he uses people on YouTube for practice. He takes pot shots at everybody. You know, he did a video, um, The Quest. And he did a uh, reply to my video, The Quest. I watched it. He was doing good. I'm like, finally, finally, a racist piece of shit that's willing to stand up. But then after I started watching, then he, then he, and he, he couldn't hold it. He couldn't hold it. See what I'm saying? Like any show you watch, and he might be unscripted. He might be. I'm unscripted. And he couldn't hold it. Then he fell off, and he let it go, and he started talking about his penis. And, yeah, I got a great big guy. It's so great. I remember one time uh, I had to get him his own ticket on the train, you know. We're going to the game, you know, Boston game. <laughs> oh, fucking Max nice. got that ass that day, you know. He going to the Boston game to fuck us so bad I got to get him his own fucking seat. Then the fucker wanted to start smoking my cigarettes. God damn cock. <laughs> yeah, big fucker. Oh, yeah, man. He was at the beach. He had to get his own Speedos. You know, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, he could throw back a high ball. You know, that's how he does it, man. That's his whole shtick. Don't let him get to you. You know, and I see him on some of these videos with some of the other people I know on his YouTube and he's piling around with him. He's their friends and shit. They already know this guy. See what I'm saying? He's a joke. And you shouldn't let him get to you because he's just trying to be known. Trying to get known. Andrew Lice Clay. You know, the fake dice clay, you know. It's like, hey, you know, you go to the park, you know. You see these fucking niggas out there sitting on the park, you know. You know, they're sitting at the park. These fucking niggas just sitting around <laughs> looking for a fucking basketball. You know, the niggas like to jump. <laughs> you see the little piece of ass walk by. And the niggas stop walking. Oh, they're shaking their head, eyeballs, bucking out. You think it's old Richard Pryor fucking movie. You know, you got them niggas jumping around looking for a fucking basketball. <laughs> you see the piece of ass walk by. You know, jiggler, jiggler. <laughs> you know, that's how he does it, man. He is a comedian. He's not a straight actor. He's not a regular guy. He's he's working on new material. So when he goes and does his stand up again, he'll be all like, <laughs> you know, no fucking YouTube for a few fucking years. You know, he got down fucking cuss on YouTube. You know, <laughs> he fucking everything up. You know, fucking the niggas and the cripples and the fucking retarded policemen and shit. You know, everybody fucking up the YouTube. You know, he is just trying to develop a personality because he probably doesn't have one 
He's probably the nicest guy in the world, you know. He probably don't even act like that. He probably doesn't even carry himself like that. Smoking a cigarette, no chain smoking. He's like a fucking low budget wise guy. That's all he looks like. Like a fucking cheap ass De Niro, you know. It's like Robert De Zero, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's a fucking loser, you know. He's fucking talking his shit, you know. He probably got the fucking pills for the goddamn gonorrhea. You know, you never know. But that's his shtick. That's his whole spiel. He'll hit you with a couple of fucking five or six one-liners, sucking the cigarette down, you know, get the cancer down the line. Oh, fucking Marlboro owes me for this, and goddamn bastards, many packs, I buy a fucking camel hump, motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? That's what he does, he's the Italian meatball, you know, sausage and shit, you know, the motherfucker, you know, the fucking motherfucker, son of a bitch, you know? He's the guy at the fucking barbecue telling the jokes and shit. Because he's trying to develop his personality. He's probably sat there for months. Fucking years. Well, I could do it this way. No. Sound too nerdy. Well, I, Andrew Dice Clay was cool. But that was so 80s. Well, I can be like Andrew Dice Clay with now. Now, um, I got the Italian hair thing going. Maybe I can, uh, no, no, no. So then he came up with a mix of all these personalities and shit. This is what an actor does. And he comes off like, you know, I've done it so much, I can't, I don't have no breath in my lungs and sucking in the air doing all this and, and trying to do the fucking language. The you know, fucking wise guy language, you know. Fucking monkeys, you know, smoking a goddamn shit. I can't do it, man. I can't hold it. Like when he did his comments on the video The Quest, he couldn't hold character. And when you're an actor, a comedian, or some media type, you're trying, if you can't hold character, then what do you do? You move on to your next act, the next part of your show. And if you watch some of his videos, he's in character, smoking a fucking tough guy cigarettes and shit looking like a fucking broke down monster on a fucking witness protection program you know what I mean talking all this only. <laughs> you know what I'm saying fucking spaghettis and meatballs is, you know he's doing his shtick and when he loses it he will watch him when he loses it he searches it that's another reason why some people wear glasses so you can't see their motor running now that I've analyzed the Lone Web Crusader, a.k.a. number one asshole, ripped him a second asshole, showed you his flaws, I'm still going to say I'm Father Judgment's guy. This is the guy that was there for me when I was nobody on YouTube. I'm not going to sit back idly by and just watch people bully and pick on and talk shit about the people I watch. I will analyze you like I've seen you or heard you analyze other people and I will give my opinion. The number one asshole is only an opinion. He is no more than an opinion, no more than one comedy skit off YouTube. Because people like that style of comedy. I don't, but people do. And you know what, maybe he's gonna bring back Andrew Dice Clay. Maybe he'll come back with a show called Son of Clay. You never know. But until then, don't let the number one asshole make himself look like a number one asshole when he's just number two. Got it? He's not worth your time, Father Judgment, because you're not one dimensional. He is an actor working on comedy. Simple as that. That's all I see. I see the next maybe YouTube partner. They'll make him a partner because he is an actor. He's acting. He's not real like us. He's not trying to be real because if he was trying to be real, he wouldn't come off with the, yeah, you're fucking goddammit and all these and holes and the big fucking crippled cocksuckers and all these. this is, He wouldn't come off with the comedy skit constantly if he was real. There's no emotion in a show, in an act. He's an actor, and don't fall subject to his show. Hey, it's I, I, I haven't subbed to him, but 
He was the number one lone wolf 